Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5070773 on your Windows 11 computer. Now, the first step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy all these command one by one and then paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now this will run a scan. The scan will take some time. And once the scan is 100% complete, you can run the second scan. So copy the second uh, command, paste it on the same window. And once the second scan is 100% complete, run that third scan. And once the third scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, the next step is to pause and restart the update. So go to Windows Update and then click on pause over here. If you see retry option over here, first of all, try retry. If that does not work, you can pause and then you can hit resume updates and then you can check. Still not working, then start these services. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click on app readiness and then click on restart. Now find windows update, scroll down, here you can see windows update, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Again make a right click and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK, make a right click once again and then click on restart. Now you can try to update your Windows 11 and then check. Still not working, the next step is to use Microsoft update catalog. Now for this you can go to this website, the link is provided in the video description. And over here, uh, write down the name of the update. If you see retry, you can click on retry. Now, we can write down the name of the update over here and then search this update over here. And then, let me change the language. Now, over here, uh, first of all, check the version W-I-N-V-E-R in Windows search box, type in WinWord and then click on WinWord run command. Now over here, you can see version 2.5 H2. So in my case, it wasn't 2.5 H2 and check what kind of system you have. So you can go to system and then uh, you can scroll down, click on about option and then check what kind of system you have. And for me, it's uh, Windows 11 version 2.5 H2 x64 base system. This is the right one for me. Now, if you have Windows 11 version 2.4 H2 x64, then this is the right one. For me, this is the right one. Now, click on download. And then over here, you will see the update KB5070773. Click on it. And then let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update option. For this, you can go to Windows Settings, go to Windows Update, and over here, go to up, uh, Advanced option over here, and scroll down, click on Recovery, and over here, you can say Fix Problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on Reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is complete, when you restart your computer, you will see repair version of version 2.5 H2 or 2.4 H2 repair version. And once this is done, now you can try to install this update and then you can check. Still not working, then use media creation tool. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft website once again, scroll down here, you can see media creation tool, click on download now, and then run this exe file. When you run this exe file, you will see this screen, click on accept over here, and then click on 
as by default windows 11 would be selected over here click on next and then select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop save and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once the download is complete uh, you can click on finish and let this close automatically it will take few seconds to close or maybe a minute once closed go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow next accept here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then try to update your windows 11 so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel